Hi YouTube, I'm Maimun, and welcome back to one of my plumbing videos. In this video, I want to discuss two things. First off, what if you have a wiggly uh, faucet like this and you want to secure it? And I want to discuss ideas on how to solve that and secure it. And the second is, what if you have a leaky faucet like this and you want to replace it? And one of the options you might want to consider is this shark bite faucet. First off, let's talk about the faucet. If you saw our most recent plumbing video, you would know that we recently replaced our faucet uh, with this new faucet. So it used to be this old damaged one, and now I replaced it with this one. So it's wiggling right now. And the reason why is because if you look closely, you would see that the new faucet has a smaller ring to secure it than the bigger one. And this one, on this one, the screw right here is actually not secured into anything. And you can also see right here, there. that's the screw hole of the old uh, faucet. So originally, we had been uh, looking up some ways to fix it, for example, like, and considering many options. But we wanted a cheap option, and these things would cost, like, around 6 to $12. So what the two options that we found were, first, that we would take a piece of metal, and we would take the faucet, I'm gonna use this as a demonstration. First we would secure it to the house, then we would, uh, we would drill a hole in it and secure the faucet to it. So that way it wouldn't uh, be wiggly. So that might work, but the second option is using the shark bite faucet. All right, so looking at the shark bite faucet, you could see that this one has a bigger ring and it has two screws. Now, another thing to know is that Behind this vinyl siding is wood, so we don't even have to drill it, we can just screw in the, we can just screw it in. So as you can see, this was the original replacement that we did uh, recently, and this is what we're planning to replace that replacement with. Now, this is actually cheaper because uh, these two parts cost about the same, however, this assembly has a connector in between. So the connector is around $10, but the faucets are the same price, so that means this would be cheaper. And that's the reason why we keep these uh, these tags here, so that we can return them. Now, um, I guess in other words, you could say this is cheaper because we're eliminating the middleman, because this already has a connector on it. As you can see, it's getting dark outside right now, so I'll finish this tomorrow, and then I'll show you when it's done. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Iman, especially the how-to videos, the fix-it videos, and the plumbing videos. Alright, so as you can see, we installed the faucet, and let's do a quick test of it. So, going down, going counterclockwise is opening it. No leaks, that's good. I can hear the water rushing. How about with the hose? Yeah! Definitely works. And now the constant stream. Uh, and I guess that's one project done. Uh, however, we've been in this house for almost 20 years, and I guess it's finally catching up to us. We have to replace this thing too. Uh, we probably won't be doing a video on it. It's just a thing to hold the hose. So, we have a lot of projects that we're gonna have to do over the summer. Like I said, many things to fix. And this is one of them. This is a storm door. And it looks like one of the things that we might have to replace instead of repair, because if you look over here, you can see that the hinges are broken. So since these are doors are around 20 years old, it's gonna be hard to find replacements for them. Uh, uh, because Especially parts, replacement parts for them, you know, because they're so old. But anyway, I'm Iman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Iman, especially how-to and fix-it videos. All right. Gotta keep fixing, you know? Signing out. Peace.